The director of the Coralina Environmental Corporation with satisfaction spoke to Tele Islas News about the advances that were achieved and the projects that will be in progress in favor of the environmental recovery of San Andres Wood Providence and Santa Catalina. The Vice Minister announced the extension of the payments program and environmental services that will end in the month of July and that was extended until December of this year. We are currently 350 families linked to the initiative. The alternative economical alternative for this family that was was be harmed for the when with the, 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 the hurricane, Yota hurricane. So this is a program that first in the have the program was till, till June, July this year. But the Minister of Environment uh, announced the, the carrying it to the 31st of December. Even in say we're gonna try do the best feasible we can get it for the next year, the whole year next year for this. Britain also spoke about the more than 4,000 million allocated by the Ministry of Environment and Sustainable Development for the restoration of the tropical dry forest. Environment working with Impulsa to, to, to bring back this emprendedores, this, um, this business, green business, um, that, can carry, that can reactivate the economical situation. And then um, we'll be working um, in Providence in San Andres. We have to put clear, um, uh, clarify that um, that Fontour will will who had um, touristical business and restaurant and those that farm part of this will be constructed by Fontour. But the, the the parts, the capital, human capital, and the different capital like machine, um, 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 different equipment that you need we can produce, the okay, Ministerial and Impulsa will be working on that program. Finally, the Director of the Environmental Corporation for this year plans to plant about 14,000 trees in the municipality and about 4,000 in San Andres.